Coach, good to see you. Appreciate your time. I guess right out of the gate for me, I want to ask you about Daquan, named the team captain yesterday. Just how happy you were, to, were you to see that? And, and just what have you seen his growth since you've been with the team? You know what? It was it was awesome. I mean, we, we got a lot of guys on this team um, and on this defense that could have been voted captain. Uh, Mike always talks about uh, just because you're not a captain doesn't mean that you can be a or you, that you're not a leader. And I think since I've been here, Daquan's been one of the leaders. But it's a good, um, a good uh, accomplishment and um, opportunity for him to captain his football team. So um, couldn't have been more deserving guy. So I'm fired up for him. And I want to ask you about Cl Clowney as well, who will be used, I'm sure, all over the defense. Just when you see a guy like that and you, you've seen him over the years, just how much has he helped the team and how much would he maybe help guys around him? Yeah, I mean, it's we're glad he's here. He makes guys better. And, um, you know, it's it's awesome when you see a guy like that walking around the, <laughs> walking around the building. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll look forward to getting him out there and, working with our other guys, but, um, you know, we're, we're really excited. Um, the, the whole football team is to have them. And last thing for me, I guess one of the benefits of the zoom is we'll get to see inside your office. I see a, a poster of Muhammad Ali, and I also see some boxing gloves behind you. What, uh, how much, is that just part of the mindset that you preach or, or and, and does that go into some of your, coaching philosophy just those two things themselves yeah and you also see a picture of my son back there too I, I think you glossed over that one but <laughs> no it's um just kind of you know we're we're fighters so we fight I mean that's that's what our um position's about so that's kind of what that what that uh picture and those gloves are about how old is your son uh my son is eight okay Appreciate it, Coach. Hmm. Kyle. Yeah, Coach, I just wondered a little bit about the interplay. How much interplay is there with a guy like uh, um, Simmons and Clowney? How, how much can they help each other, make thing, make life easier for each other, and, and maybe who gets the most benefit out of that relationship? Well, I mean, I, when you're talking about pass rushers in general, um, you know, usually the, the the quarterback picks who sacks the guy. I think when you've got multiple guys that are able to get pressure, I think it helps everybody that's in the rush and it helps the, the cover guys. So, um, you know, it's having two or three or four, five, six, however many guys we got that can uh, rush and play good run defense, it can um, only make us better. And that's sort of a follow-up on Jeffrey. Mike said he's had a great camp. Uh, he's, he, he gave a couple of examples. For you, what has been the moment this camp that you could really see the leap that you feel like maybe he's about to make? Yeah, I would say that, um, I mean, there was one play early on where he took off and ran about 40 yards and chased the back down um, in training camp. And Said okay, we we kind of got something there, but he he's been good. He's been um, you know physical, doing the things that we're asking him to do in the run game and affecting the quarterback. So um, excited, Terry. Coach, how much can the adding a guy like Clowney create more? one-on-one -on -one matchups up and down the line and, and allow other guys to be able to get to the quarterback without having to blitz as often maybe as you did last year? Yeah, it's, um, you know, anytime you got a guy where uh, the offense got to account for, whether they're putting, um, you know, sliding the center to them or putting a, helping a, using a tight end to chip or a back to chip, that means there's fewer guys out on the route. So, um, I think that's going to make us make us all better. So, I mean, he's a guy that you got to account for. So, we're excited to get him out there. I'm good. Joe. Hey, Trill, thanks for doing this. Uh, an another clowny question for you. Um, I just wondered, where, like, what room is he in? Like, do you guys fight over him? I mean, how does it work in terms of? 
you know, because obviously you can move around and play both levels and things like that. How, how, how will that all work out? Yeah, he's on defense. That's all I can tell you. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know where where he's going to be. He's just a defensive football player. So we're we're all excited to have him. You know, so he may be with the DBs, maybe with the inside linebackers, maybe with the outside linebackers, maybe with the uh, with the D line. So he's a talented dude. We're just looking forward to getting him out there. Buck. Coach, I apologize if you've already answered this, but with uh, with Jeffrey, we've talked to him before about um, looking to develop more as an interior pass rusher, but not you know not sacrificing technique to make sure these you know not for lack of a better term not trying to do too much. Are you are you seeing that kind of growth and development from him so far through through camp? I know obviously he hasn't had a, really any opportunity to be able to test those abilities out with live reps. Yeah, I would say that he is um, he's done well and he's developing an identity. I think when you look at good rushers in this league, um, whether they're an interior rusher or an outside rusher, all of them have an identity. And um, I would say that that Jeff's doing a good job along with all of our guys we're working on their identity and he's developing an identity. What I guess is is the is the identity trending towards, if if you could be a little more specific. Yeah, I would say it's uh, trending towards violence. Like that's that's what he's what he's going to be. He'll be a violent football player. Thanks, coach. John. Yeah, coach. When you look at um, Ad and Connie, uh, I apologize if it has been asked, but uh, I'm curious as far as how that impacts a guy like Jeffrey Simmons what you guys like to do with stunts and those type of things. Yeah, again, I think it, it impacts the, the entire defense, um, you know, not just Jeff, but um, all the other guys. I mean, again, you got an impact player that can do a lot of things, play a lot of multiple positions. You can move them around, and um, that's important to Mike and John as far as having guys that have position flexibility. It's important to all of us, and, I think this player uh, brings that to our football team. So we're excited to have him. John. Hey, Coach Williams, um, looking at, uh, at, at Denver, uh, obviously you're very uh, familiar with Jarrell Casey. Wondering what uh, you think his level of, uh, of motivation is and, and um, you know, will his uh, familiarity with the team help uh, the Broncos at all? Yeah, I mean, I'm not – I mean, as far as his level of motivation, I'm – honestly, I'm worried about uh, how many guys we're going to travel to the game and how many dudes are going to be up. I'm, I'm more concerned about us and, and what we're, we're doing here. I mean, I, I, I love Case and, and continue to love him, but my, my focus is on my group and what we have to do um, – here, here to try to go out there and play play good football on Monday night. Jim, coach, I'm diving back in. I, I guess Crawf Jack Crawford it got started late, but it seemed like he really kind of picked up momentum during camp. Did Did you see that? And you feel good about where he is at the start? Yep, feel really good about Jack. Again, he's another guy that adds position flexibility, can do a lot of things, move him up and down the line, and um, you know we're we're excited that he's here. Uh, he's work he works hard. He's bought in our culture here, and and we're excited to continue to work with him. And, and as far as Mac and Dickerson go, um, w were they able to? make the progress that you want to see in camp and maybe what, what, what do they need to continue to work on as the season uh, goes on? Just getting better and understanding what their roles are and, and, and what we need them to do um, day in and day out in practice on the field, off the field and in game. So um, both of those guys have worked really hard in training camp. So again, we're just looking forward to getting out there and continuing to get better. Are you are you a, a a motivator during the course of the week, or I know every player is different, and you probably know certain guys have 
buttons you've got to push. But how much do you spend your week or maybe game day in getting in a guy's mind to try to get more out of them? Uh, I'm a, a, a truth teller. So if that motivates them, then so be it. But I think they all want to hear the, hear the truth. So I tell them this is what you got to get better at. Um, uh, this is what you do well. And this we're not going to accept. So uh, if, if being, being truthful is, is motivation, then so be it. But that's, that's kind of been my way I've operated over my years of coaching in this league and college football is just being um, as honest as you can with football players. And obviously there's certain guys that you got to uh, push certain buttons, but I think the key as a coach is just knowing your players and kind of knowing what each individual uh, needs. And some guys need uh, more, more love. Some guys need a more, uh, foot up there you know what so you just got to figure out as a coach uh, what each individual needs 